In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your Dropbox account, which is free, and how you can store documents inside any of these folders and then get links to them that you can then put in your website or your Moodle or send in an email so that people can access what's ever inside that folder or access that document. So here's my Dropbox account. You can see that I've got a series of folders and I'm going to scroll down a bit. You can also see that I have a variety of different documents. Dropbox is simply a place where you can store any of your files, any of your documents. If you want to add anything in here, you can click on the upload button and upload your files to it. You can create new folders so that you can have your own filing system. Um, you can create shared folders. I've created a bunch of folders and documents, but now I'm going to show you how to share them. On the right hand side, you'll see that some of these already have a link at the end of the line. That means at some point I shared that link with someone so they could access that folder. Notice this one right here does not have a permanent link, but if I mouse over it, I could start that process to get a link, which I'll show you in a second. The same is true for documents. You can see here is a document that I've shared, but here's a document that I have not shared yet. So let's go ahead and share this document. It's going to work the same for folders and for documents. So I'm going to click on share the link. And right here, it's going to show me in the background what that folder or document looks like. I can put in email addresses and share with individuals if they have a Dropbox account. But for your purposes, you're probably just going to want to get a link to it that anyone who has the link can access. So click on get a link. Now at the top, it says I copied it, but it didn't really show you what the link looked like. If you'd like to see it or see that it works, I'm going to open another tab paste my link in, hit return, and when I share that link, which is really ugly and long, but you're just going to paste it, this is what the people can see. Notice that there's a share option. You see that because I'm still logged in. There's a download option. So if you share this with a student and they want to download it, that download button should appear for them as well. So very, very easy to get a link to any individual document or any individual folder. If I go back now and look at my um, home page for my Dropbox, notice that that second document now has a permanent uh, link next to it, which means that I have shared it. 